My name is Jack Earl Haley, and I've uh, been nominated in the Supporting Actor category. Was this a surprise? It was, uh, it, uh, you know, it was, I didn't sleep that night before. I knew there was a possibility that maybe my name would show up, and uh, sure enough, in the morning, uh, you know, it was either going to be there or it wasn't going to be there. I had no idea which it would be, and it was just amazing when it was there. Did the telephone start ringing? The telephone has been ringing nonstop ever since. It's been great. This is just so much. I'm, I'm over the moon. I, this is the biggest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I'm a songwriter. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> this is it as far as songwriting goes. It's just, I'm, I'm so, I'm so emotional about having been nominated. Oh. What did your grandma say? My grandma was like, oh my gosh, Abby, you got nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> and I said, yeah. She said, that's so nice. So, yeah. I, I'm pretty excited about being nominated, you know? And it's pretty exciting to be, be with these guys because I like the movies. I like, I like all the stories. I like the characters they play. I think they like have something to say. So it's kind of nice to be in a category where all the movies have something to say. This is your first nomination? Yes. It was my first excited and wonderful nomination for the Oscar. Yeah. Surprised? Yeah, surprised and, uh, and many emotions and, and like a dream comes true, really, really. Oh, I, I, I won't cry when I talk about this. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, sorry. But this is amazing. It's a really a great thing for a Mexican actress. So tell me about getting nominated this time. It's always nice to be nominated. Uh, uh, you never expect it. Uh, I've been nominated 17 times now. And, uh, How many times? Seventeen. And uh, it's never bad, you know. It's always a nice, nice feeling. I mean, I've lost sixteen times, so uh, well, not yet. I haven't, but I, I, I will have lost sixteen times after this one. And uh, I, I never really minded. I like being nominated. Before you were actually notified, I guess it's that. Well, how did you react on Tuesday morning? Uh, it was strange, actually, because right when I, I actually called um, um, my um, a w woman that I work with to console her, because I was, you know, I thought, it w I hadn't gotten the call, so I figured that she'd be really upset, and I called her, you know, because I kept telling her, don't be disappointed, it's not going to happen. And then I called her to make her feel better about it, and she uh, was actually on the line, and, and, it, and, it ha and she, she heard the news right then, and then I heard this like screeching and there was a, a crash outside my my window and I went to the window and this cop had been hit on his bike and thrown like two blocks and he was laying in the middle of the street and then I'm fielding all these congratulatory calls and I'm watching this poor guy get put into an ambulance and uh, it was very strange but I heard he only broke his leg so I guess it turned out to be a pretty good day for the both of us. It wasn't such a great day for him really. <laughs> well I mean all could have been worse. There you go. But um, so you were really ex you were really surprised. Yeah, absolutely. Every time I think about the nomination, I think about all the people that have you know believed in me from the beginning, and of course my my family, as boring as that can sound, but it's just you know they didn't treat me like I was crazy when I was eight and I said I want to be an actress, and we didn't even have a theater around our neighborhood. But my, my father bought a huge Betamax uh, video machine. It was so heavy, so huge. And thanks to that, I was able to rent movies. I became obsessed with movies. I became obsessed with Almodovar. And that's what made me dream about movies. And now I can't believe I got nominated for an Academy Award. I still can't completely believe it. 